The quartz subsystem is initialized with public variables for musical parameters, time signature, BPM, that can then be adjusted in the editor. An initial sound is set and played. A delicate event ensures that the quartz clock starts only once the audio system is ready. Subscription to the quantization event allows us to create a metronome at the interval of a bar, which we will use to trigger the sounds in time. Using a modulo node with the exposed non-bars parameter allows us to preload the non-playing audio component on the bar before the loop. To ensure that clips can overlap, a branch node swaps the execution between the two attached audio components. The randomized clip is then played on the next quantization interval. And that's that. By itself it isn't much, but it allows us to build a structure that we can then expand upon, like doing different transitions based on different game states. Because we've got this metronome going, we can subdivide it into different beats if we want to add stingers. We've got the structure already in place. You can also use quartz for weapons. Weapon fire sounds triggered in the main update loop tends to get rhythmically imprecise at high RPM due to the frame rate changing at runtime. Since quartz is a musical subsystem, you can leverage it to create equally spaced gunshot sounds, even at high rates of fire. Here, I'm controlling the rate of fire with a mouse wheel. Note how even at very high RPM values, the sound stays consistent throughout. <laughs> 